Hello. So yesterday I came across something that threw me off balance completely. No, it's not the government shutdown or the instability pretty much anywhere in the world. But what I'm talking about is something I brought up yesterday, which is Linea and its sudden connection to SWIFT. For years, I followed every clue that XRP could be the neutral rail for global payments. So when I saw SWIFT, the same network that connects over 11,000 banks, testing blockchain tech with Linea, I'll be honest, my gut reaction was what the actual hell. My first instinct was to protect my belief in Ripple, to brush it off, because when you've waited this long, patience starts to feel really heavy, especially when you, when hold on doesn't actually pay any bills. But after sitting with it, I realized something. This is exactly the kind of test that teaches me the most in this space. So instead of defending my biases, I dug in to see what Swift and Linea thing, what this connection actually means. And actually I was on a bike ride this weekend and I randomly thought of something, but I started thinking about phone carriers, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Boost Mobile. They all serve similar functions, yet coexist and dominate different corners of the market. Maybe crypto will be the same. Maybe not this or that, but this and that. This key is understanding who play. The key of this is understanding who plays the role in this new system. So what did Swift actually announce? Here's what's confirmed so far. At the end of September this last month, Swift announced it is adding a blockchain based shared ledger to its infrastructure and building a prototype with consensus, the company that is behind MetaMask. More than 30 banks, including JP Morgan, Citi, Bank of America, are all participating. And the first use case is 24-7 real-time cross-border payments. Consensus later confirmed that its Linea Layer 2 network will power parts of this prototype. So it's Swift plus consensus officially with Linea very likely under the hood. That's actually huge. Swift, the backbone of the banking world is experimenting with blockchain rails for stablecoin and tokenized asset settlement. That alone proves the direction of travel that we're headed. The old system is preparing to run on chain. So what exactly is Linea? Linea is a ZK EVM layer two built by consensus. Its mission statement literally says on its website to deepen Ethereum's liquidity and help Ethereum win. In other words, it's designed to make Ethereum faster and cheaper while keeping full compatibility with the Ethereum smart contracts. It's not a neutral payment bridge. It's an, it's an Ethereum amplifier. And what's Ripple's role and why is it different? Ripple and XRP were built for the opposite purpose, neutral liquidity. The XRP ledger doesn't belong to any nation or corporation. Transactions settle in three to five seconds, handle roughly 1,500 transactions per second, and the ledger runs on a consensus model, 
No proof of work like Bitcoin or proof of stake like Ethereum. Validated by universities, institutions, and independent nodes around the world. And now Ripple's ecosystem has evolved far beyond cross-border payments. We've talked about the wormhole integration, giving XRPL cross-chain messaging and asset transfers with 35 plus blockchains, including Ethereum. The partnership with XLR. Integration connects the XL XRPL EVM sidechain to 80 plus chains, bridging XRP into DeFi and tokenized asset ecosystems. The XRPL EVM sidechain, which has been live since June 2025, lets developers deploy Ethereum style smart contracts and pay gas in XRP. This isn't theory, that's active interoperability. And as I continue to compare, it, compare these two, Linea, the purpose is to strengthen Ethereum's ecosystem. XRP Ledger, the purpose is to bridge currencies and liquidity globally. The alignment of Linea is to support Ethereum's success. The alignment of XRP is neutral and currency agnostic. And governance of Linea is consensus and Ethereum validators, most of which are both based in the United States now. For XRP, it's independent global validators. They're both solving different problems. Linea is about scaling Ethereum. XRP is about connecting everything else. So why this actually helps the XRP thesis that I have. If Swift is now building blockchain infrastructure, that validates the entire idea that Ripple's been taking, talking about for years that the financial system is moving on chain. Once that happens, institutions will need neutral assets to move value between all those chains. That's XRP's lane. So rather than seeing Linea as a rival, I see it as proof that the race Ripple's been training for has officially started. Multiple winners, multiple rails, one goal, instant global interoperable money. So yes, just this weekend, I added a small amount of Linea to my portfolio. When I bought it, it was sitting at about two cents a token. I didn't do this out of betrayal to Ripple or XRP, but out of curiosity. Competition keeps markets honest and healthy. But my conviction XRP hasn't wavered. If anything, this strengthens it. Because every time another major player joins this space, it pushes the world closer to what Ripple predicted years ago. A financial internet where value moves as freely as information does. So the question isn't, is Linea replacing Ripple? It's how close are we to the world Ripple envisioned? And who else just stepped onto the track? Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again tomorrow for an updated video. Uh, please like, subscribe. None of this is financial advice. It's literally just you on a journey with me as I discover this world of crypto. Till the next time, see you later.